Bismillah ar-Rahman rahim My name is Dr. Abdul Adamu from Data Analytica. This lecture is on research hypotheses. Uh, research hypotheses are critical in guiding investigation and are formulated based on existing theories, previous research or preliminary observations. What is research hypothesis? The research hypothesis is a tentative statement of expectation or prediction that will be tested in a research. A tentative answer to a research question that has not been tested. It is not just a guess. It should be based on existing theories and knowledge. So research hypothesis must have its roots in theories. It must be testable and proposes a relationship between two or more variables. So to write a research hypothesis, one should read about the topic of interest and formulate a statement of expectation or prediction that can be tested by research. What are the characteristics of hypothesis? Basically, there are three characteristics of hypothesis. One is that of specificity. Research hypotheses should be specific. For example, instead of online customer reviews, you use this specific components like quality, quantity, balance, and source. It's clarity, it should be clear and unambiguous. Testability, all research hypotheses should be tested using statistical tools. One important aspect in research hypothesis is the issue of variables. Variables are classified either as either independent or dependent variable. Hypotheses involve at least two variables, the independent and the dependent variable. Hypothesis also can be directional or non-directional. For directional hypothesis, it predicts in which direction the change will take place, either greater, smaller, or less. So when we ha have hypotheses like quality of online review has no significant effect, or quality of online review has no significant positive effect. So with that positive, it is a directional hypothesis. For non-directional hypothesis, it predicts that the independent variable will have an effect on the dependent variable, but the direction of the effect is not specified. For example, quality of online customer review has no significant effect on purchase decisions of computer brands in Nigeria. So that does not state whether it will have positive or negative effect. So it is non-directional. So, hypotheses play a key role in guiding formulation of research questions, study design, data collection and analysis and result interpretation. Research hypotheses also formulate a testable statement about the relationship between variables or the existence of a difference between groups. We have the null hypothesis. The null hypothesis assumes that there is no relationship between the dependent and the dependent variable. So researchers formulate null hypothesis and this make an assumption that there is no relationship or difference between the variable. They are normally used in hypothesis testing. Null hypotheses are used in statistical hypothesis testing to reject or support the research hypothesis. And a clear null hypothesis highlights the importance of the research hypothesis and help guide the investigation. Example of a null hypothesis is quality of online review has no significance. So this no has no significance is what makes it a null hypothesis. So quality of online customer reviews has no significant effect on purchase decisions of computer brands in Nigeria. Alternative hypothesis assume relationship. That is, researcher can formulate 
the hypothesis which make an assumption that there is a relationship or difference between variable. It state that the results are not due to science and they are significant in terms of supporting the theory being investigated. Alternative hypotheses are also called experimental hypotheses or research hypotheses. And as an example, quality of online customer reviews has significant effect on purchase decisions of computer brands in Nigeria. So we can see this one is saying it has significant effect. This is an alternative hypothesis. There are certain steps to follow when formulating hypotheses. Number one, identify the variable. So you have to determine your independent variable and the dependent variable that you want to investigate. Secondly, you have to operationalize the variable, that is, make the variable physically measurable or testable. Like I said, online customer reviews, by operationalizing, we break it down into its components. We have quality of the review, quantity of the review, source of the review, and valence of the review. So you can see quality, quantity, valence, and source. Then the third step is to conduct literature review. By reviewing existing literature, you gather background information and understand previous research related to your topic. Then determine the expected relationship based on your literature review. To know the relationship that existed between the variable, whether directional or non-directional. Then make hypotheses specific and testable. Ensure that your hypotheses are specific, testable and measurable to guide your research study. So example of hypothesis using our topic, effect of online customer reviews on purchase decisions of computer brands in Nigeria. So if you have not been following this lecture series, you can check our YouTube channel at Data Analytica. If these are some of the lectures we have done on this series. So you can see, you can learn how to write research objective, how to formulate and refine your research questions, how to formulate research problem, how to choose a research topic, what is a research, and we have a lot of research here which can improve your productivity in research. Effect of online customer reviews on purchase decisions of computer brands in Nigeria. These are our operationalized components of online customer review we have quality and credibility quantity valence and source so we have stated the null hypothesis as well as the alternative hypothesis here for quality and credibility the null hypothesis is quality and credibility of online customer reviews has no significant effect on pushes decisions of computer brands in nigeria the alternative is Quality and credibility of online customer reviews has significant effect on purchase decisions of computer brands in Nigeria. So you can see this one state has no significant effect. This one state has significant effect. For quantity, we stated it the same way. Quantity of online customer reviews has no significant effect on purchase decisions of computer brands in Nigeria. That is null hypothesis. The alternative is quantity of online customer reviews has significant effect on purchase decisions of computer brands in Nigeria. So it is the same way we have stated that of valence and that of source. After you have stated your hypothesis in the cost of study, we can be refining the hypothesis if there is need to. So such hypotheses are not set in stone and may evolve and require refinement throughout the research process. Sometimes it may be necessary to consider alternative hypotheses to guide the research investigation. So, refining and revising research hypotheses continuously as you gain more insight and progress in your research.
align your hypothesis with the study design ensure that your hypothesis align with your site design and methodology to guide your research investigation and analysis also we should know that hypothesis provide a framework for hypothesis testing using statistical approaches to evaluate empirical evidence and a well formulated hypothesis contribute to knowledge advancement within specific fields of study after formulating hypothesis we need to test the hypothesis so you test and evaluate the hypothesis use research hypothesis as a guide throughout the research study to ensure consistent focus state the two hypotheses so that only one can be right that is you state the null hypothesis and the alternative hypothesis then state your method of analysis formulate the analysis plan which outline how the data will be evaluated then use statistical analysis to evaluate the relationship between the variables assess the research hypothesis and determine the significance of the finding then after analyzing then you take your decision either to reject the null hypothesis or state that the null hypothesis is plausible given the data then revise and refine hypothesis as needed throughout the research study as new evidence emerges so in this lecture these are the key takeaways we said research hypotheses are testable statement and they involve at least two variables the dependent and the independent variable and in formulating research hypothesis we need to identify the variable review existing literature and specify testable and measurable statement then research hypotheses are not made on stone you can continue to refine and revise it and consider alternative hypotheses so thank you for listening if you enjoyed this lecture I employ you to kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel, like and comment on the video and thank you for listening.